feelings. I gotta mm. tell what I feel. Right, 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 right. Room. I want to talk about, uh, you know, I do a potpourri of rants on Fridays, and I have to start with one of the most outrageous things that I saw yesterday. Jacob Blake, who was shot seven times in his back, who is reportedly paralyzed from the waist down, is handcuffed to his hospital bed. A lot of people are saying he is handcuffed to his hospital bed. What crime did he commit other than taking seven bullets in the back? And why would you handcuff somebody to a bed that is paralyzed? Where are they going to go? That is outrageous. Unbelievable. I want to talk about the new sellout. Yes, white folks that are the new sellout. Because there are a lot of white folks that are angry with white folks that are in the streets protesting peacefully. Because they support black people. They're like, they don't understand. Oh, they're the new sellout. White people being criticized because, oh, you feel guilty for them. That's why you're supporting them. You don't really have those true feelings. You're a member of Antifa. You're everything but an American with human feelings that care about his brother and sister. Supporting civil rights. So these white folks that are in the streets protesting are the new sellouts. And heaven forbid that I see somebody who was an African-American criticizing some of these white guys. Oh, it's just their guilt that they feel. I'm like, shut up, dude. What are you doing? You sitting at home smoking a joint and writing on a computer. But you want to dog out these folks that are actually taken to the street with love in their heart, trying to make a difference? I mean, if you take a look, a lot of these protesters are white. It's amazing how the conservative and the right-wing radicals are demonizing Anthony Huber. They don't know who he is. He's the guy that kept more people from being killed from this 17-year-old idiot because he took his skateboard and hit this 17-year-old with it to keep him from killing more people. He lost his life because he was out there doing the right thing. And he's a sellout. He's a hero. Here's somebody who's trying to walk in our shoes, trying to understand. It doesn't make sense to me. That man saved lives. So he's demonized by whites, demonized by blacks. Is he sincere? I don't care. He was there. It just, to me, is a testimony to us being together, no matter what race you are. Right is right, wrong is wrong. Human is human. And my prayers go out to those folks that lost their lives in that street, and especially Anthony Huber, who was a young man that used his skateboard to keep more people from dying. That's my rant. <laughs>